This video is provided as a reference for adding an existing user to dual control on our Domestic Wires Business Online Banking service. As a reminder, dual control is BECU's commercially reasonable security procedure that requires one user to initiate a wire and another different user to approve the wire. Dual control is required because it helps protect against the risks associated with wire transfers from your account. Remember, once a wire is sent, it cannot be recalled or canceled, and there is no payment protection for your funds. Dual control can help protect your business if a fraudster has your account access information and attempts to send a wire, if you or your employees are tricked or scammed into sending a wire, if your employees attempt to commit fraud on your account, or make a processing error on legitimate wire instructions. Dual control is a powerful fraud prevention security procedure to help protect your business. To set up dual control, administrative users edit sub-users and grant authority to perform various types of wire activities on the user management screen. The administration section on the left-hand navigation bar is where user management is located. The user management screen will list all users previously added to business online banking. Locate the first user you wish to give access to domestic wires and click on the pencil icon at the right to edit the user profile. Next, click the Assign Rights button on the lower right of the screen. Under the Transactions heading, click on Domestic Wires. This Domestic Wire page is where you grant authority to the individual user based on their needed level of access. For instance, if a user is only authorized to approve wire instructions, Select the Approve, Cancel, and View boxes. If a user is only authorized to draft wire instructions and not authorized to approve, select the Draft, Cancel, and View buttons. If a user is authorized to draft wire instructions and approve other users' wire instructions, check all the buttons. For dual control to work properly, you will need multiple users who have approval authority. For approvers, make sure the drop-down next to View is set to All so that the user is able to view the activity of other users. This screen is also where, if needed, you may lower the dollar amount or number of wires a particular user may initiate. Once all changes are made, click Save in the upper right corner. Next, you will need to add a second wire approver. Go back to the Administration section on the left-hand navigation bar and again click User Management. Locate the second user to add and click the pencil icon to edit the user. Click Assign Rights, and then on Domestic Wires under the Transaction heading. Complete the same steps as before, giving this user the appropriate approval rights access. Remember to change View dropdown to All. Click Save. Please note that assigning all rights to all users will allow every user to both draft and approve wire instructions so be mindful as you are assigning rights. A wire instruction may not be approved by the same user who initiated it. A second, different user must be set up to approve the wire instruction. Repeat this process for any other users you wish to grant wire access. Once all users have been added, you are ready to begin initiating wires using dual control.